So you want to read your script while looking directly at the camera lens. Traditionally, that's done with a teleprompter like this one, but there's a new way to do this with just your smartphone. Hey, I'm Brighton West and I help coaches use online video to spread their message. Today, I'm talking about teleprompters, specifically about using your iPhone. But first, I want to mention that I love this Caddy, Caddy Buddy teleprompter. You're going to still need something like this if you're using a DSLR or a video camera or an external webcam. But if you're just using your iPhone, there's a new software update that makes it possible to read your script while looking at the lens. It's been possible for a while, but the problem was that your eyes would move back and forth noticeably. But I'm using it right now, and hopefully you can't tell that I'm reading. My favorite app is Prompt Smart. As far as apps go, it's a bit pricey at $30, but it's well worth it because of a feature called Voice Track. I'll talk more about that in a bit. What it's able to do now that it couldn't do a year ago is scrunch up the text next to the camera on your phone. And even though the text isn't directly on top of the lens, your eyes look like they are looking into the lens. Let me share how to set this up. So I'm going to start out assuming that you know how to use Prompt Smart and you just need to get to this setting. So you'll go down to the bottom of the screen here once you're into the script to the cog. And then first off, you're going to turn on video recording. And let me show you really quick what how the system used to work, and then I'll turn on the, the new settings. So this was recording, and if I hit play to record, you can see there that if I were to record this, and you would see my, my eyes would be way off from where the camera is. So this is what they fixed. So let's go into the settings and turn on selfie mode. And then you've got some options here too. Side margin position, narrow, you can change that to full screen, which isn't really full screen, it's just half screen, um, but down to narrowest, depending on if you get a little eye movement, you can go ahead and make it even more narrow. And let me show you what it does. So you can see here that vertically, it's got the, um, the camera and the text. The text is only on the half of the screen closest to the camera, and horizontally, once again, same thing. So if you were looking here, you're looking pretty close to the camera. And if I was if I was actually at this distance, I'd probably need to set it pretty narrow, um, just because it's so close and my eyes just that little bit of movement. But from a regular distance of you know three four feet, uh, a normal setting of narrow works pretty well. There have been great breakthroughs in the world of teleprompters recently making them accessible to just about everyone. 10 years ago, ten teleprompters cost around $10,000 and required a trained technician to run them. Then we got to these devices that cost around $150, plus you need the iPad. And then PromptSmart added voice control, and now you can use just your smartphone and the app without having to have this device. I mentioned earlier that I was gonna share a bit about voice track. In the old days before voice track, you had to either have someone controlling the speed of the text, you know, how fast it scrolled, or you'd have to set it at a specific pace and then try to follow along. Voice track makes the teleprompter follow your pace. Now it's not perfect, especially if you have repetitive text, but I'd say that it works around 95% of the time. If you want some tips on how to look natural when reading from a teleprompter, click this video up here. And if you want to learn how to import a script into the PromptSmart app, then click this one down here. I'll see you in the next video.